Hi Bishnu and all the rest of you good people out there. I hope that you're all safe and sound and that health is with you. Regarding your question on the forum on checking whole alignments, I assume between uh, components in a large assembly. Uh, you can probably do that with a little bit of uh, uh, potential programming or, or what's in the Checkmate uh, uh, profiles. Uh, potentially, I haven't found one, uh, but what's in the um, visual reporting. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but that might be possible. Uh, I kind of will uh, base my uh, suggestion here on the same. Uh, not sure, might be somebody out there who has a, a better approach to this, um, but this is what I would do. Um, so on the screen here we got uh, parts of tool, uh, we got an upper plate with uh, counterbore holes, uh, we got a lower plate uh, which is with uh, clearance holes, and we need to check the uh, alignment between those holes. Uh, what I intend to use is body compare, uh, which will uh, fit perfectly for this, I think, as it's very visual. Uh, now, what we need between these two, uh, plate one and plate two, is some sort of uh, communality, but also um, where things are different or could potentially be different. And that would lie in the mating phases between these two plates. Now, the analyze I can perform directly in the assembly here. Uh, personally, I do not like to, I, I want to keep the assembly uh, as clean as possible uh, with absolutely no clutter in it. And uh, so therefore I prepared an uh, empty part uh, that I will use, the align alignment analyze part here. And I will add that to my assembly temporarily uh, because that is uh, going to contain my... Um, analyze objects. Now, this is an empty part, there's nothing in there, uh, so I need to fill it with something. And I will fill it with geometry from plate one and plate two. I will start by extracting a face, uh, the mating face. I will do that with the way geometry linker, since this uh, will be an inter part um, history here. So I will grab the top face there, and I'll say apply to that. And I'm going to show the upper plate, plate two, and I'm going to I'm going to wave link that as well. So in my alignment part now, I should have two faces. Uh, let's do them one at a time. And what I will do is I will actually use thicken sheet here. So I will thicken that plus minus two millimeters, and I'm quite happy with that. Uh, uh, and, and here I also want to ensure, since I'm going to use the body compare, I need to make sure that the holes are the same size. Uh, doing so, I will use, I will utilize the uh, synchronous modeling uh, option, um, uh, resize holes. And with a bit of smart selecting he selection here, we will use the uh, selection program. Selection program, I have... Uh, uh, set to uh, select uh, the actual body and uh, find all the all the cylindrical uh, faces here because those are the ones I'm interested in. So we select those and uh, we're going to find those um, holes with the selection program there. And we'll say that they will be 10. That means that I will do the same thing to the other uh, face there as well. I grab, oops, sorry, I grab these two features here. Not edit, sorry, my mouse is playing tricks with me. I need to upgrade that. Uh, I copy these two, uh, just simply control C on the keyboard. And I'm gonna hide those. And I'm gonna uh, bring the uh, second face there, because that's the one. I, I, I need to uh, copy and paste these two features on that as well. So that will be a copy of that. Can I simply press control V for paste. And uh, when I do that, I should have a mapping uh, select face. So I'm going to select this face here. And I'm going to have two thickened sheets uh, with resized hole to size 10. Uh, that means if I show them, we can see that they are now overlaid. 
Uh, oops, not edit. Um, they are now not edit. Sorry about that. They are now overlaid, and I can do my body compare. Uh, so uh, under analysis and body compare, I can now select one a body as control and one as sample. I set the comparison to face and shape and compare. That means that it should now find all any or, or, or any faces that are different from each other. So we say compare and we can see that, okay, so we found these cylindrical faces not to be the same. That means that they are not aligned. Uh, note that I have saved analysis object on. So as soon as I press OK here, this analyze will be saved, so I can uh, come back to it at a later state. Uh, we get a report in the information window here, uh, should I like. Uh, I can also notice that uh, the system automatically takes me to the HD3D tool and the reporting uh, analyzing results uh, tab here, where if I can expand, uh, I can I can see that we have a failed uh, body, and, and in this case, one failed face. Uh, obviously, there would be more if we have would have more uh, faces that would be, or, or holes that would be misaligned here. So, moving back to uh, the plate 2 here, I have actually prepared this, so uh, I know what's wrong. Uh, but I know that the face up here uh, is the one that is misaligned. So if I uh, activate alignment analyze, we can see that, okay, so, uh, or make that the work part. So this is the area where I need to focus my attention and fix the issue. So I make the plate to uh, the work part, and we're gonna make sure that it is uh, properly aligned. You can see that I obviously I have some points there. And if I zoom in here, we can see that it's not aligning. So we deselect that point and we make sure to select the actual point there, existing point. And we say OK, and everything should be all right. So going back to the line alignment analyze there, we can see nothing is no longer highlighting here, meaning that this is now OK. If I expand my analyze result here, we can see that my failing body is now passing. So we are good to go. Uh, with that, I hope that you got some uh, ideas of how you can work your alignment of holes in large assemblies. And with that, I'm going to leave you for tonight. So I'm going to wish all you good people out there uh, a really good day, uh, afternoon, evening, night, morning, uh, wherever you are. And take good care of yourself. Stay safe and sound. Over and out from Fred, and above all, healthy. Over and out from Fred, bye for now.